creative person has a special gift, his private vision of the world. Through words, ideas, images, he touches our view of the 20th century. Ladipo is the founder, director, playwright, composer, and the principal actor of the Duro Ladipo Traveling Theatre Company of Oshobo, Nigeria. I was born of a Christian family. My father was a, a reverend pastor. And I could just directly say that I was born in the church, you see, because my father was touring around villages, teaching the gospel. And uh, my parents had a lot of trouble in having children. About 13 children were born dead before I was born. That's the reason why I was named Duro. Duro means stay, don't go again. And uh, since I was born, I had it that uh, none of my brothers and sisters uh, ever die again. We are all living now, about seven of us, and my father is uh, having on, uh, only one wife, and that's my mother. In fact, I was very interested in uh, uh, music since I was seven years old because I was one of the boys directing the choir for my father in the churches. There I was uh, allowed to use my own sense in bringing the choir, I mean the choir up. Then I felt of changing from the uh, monotonous tune of the harmonium and the piano and with this Western music Everything just sounding the same every day, every week when we come to church. I said that there should be drums here so that everybody will just be happy when we are worshipping. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You are mighty God, mighty God. Oh yeah 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 you are kind, you are more than these Lost for words, trying to describe you Elohim, Elion, Ale Shelevi The greatness is all I see There is nothing you cannot do There's no Said it, then you will do it. Cause you have a track record of keeping your word, and you're not about to stop doing it now. All over Wambayo, all over Wambayo. Many of our traditions were 
we have stopped because it was believed that people worshipping Shango, Oya, Obatala, and all these Orishas in Yoruba country are non I mean, are non Christians and they are termed to be pagans. But I have read a lot of Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Very interesting book. I believe in the strength and the greatness of the word of God. Still yet, I felt like going back again to see why these people who were worshipping Orishas did it. Then I had the feeling of going into the lives of great people who had died long before the arrival of Christianity. There is nothing you cannot change, Baba. There is no bondage you cannot break. If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a track record of keeping your word. Alafi that reigns 
must pay the greatest homage to this king. And it remains till today. But I don't want this thing to die. It cannot die. Baba, mi wunya bi makabeji. 